this is Army Helpful Video, and we're, today we're continuing with part 11 of our um, CVP series on Seaburn Room Operations and Procedures, right? So today is going to be a short, quick, and easy video just showing you some basic common uh, NSNs and stuff that we need to be ordering, right? So without further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll get this started. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So basic common ordering items, okay? So here's the list of the Seaburn requirements. And I did the requirements, whether it be per squad, per soldier, every five soldiers, per vehicle, et cetera, right? So basically for the 256 trainers, you need one per squad. So basic math, we need 16 in my company, right? So just do the math. You got three platoons, how many squads you have, that's how many of those you need. Your M8, M9 paper. So your M8 paper, you need one per soldier, uh, which is you know your MTO number. M9 paper is one per five soldiers. Your Camelback drinking adapters, one per soldier. Uh, 295 is one per soldier. Your voice amplifiers. So this is going to be different depending on the makeup of your your uh, company. But for me, I like to do my squad leaders, my platoon leaders, platoon sergeants, first sergeant, XO commander. One thing I didn't add on here that I think is critical is also make sure that your uh, your recovery assets, those guys have uh, the voice amplifiers. Of course, your M100 is one per vehicle. Your MPHS is one per soldier. And then your canteen caps is one per soldier. So like I said, this is just a basic rundown of the things that you require to have on hand and how many you're supposed to have on hand per uh, guidance. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go ordinance.